All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and replace the power button or fingerprint sensor on the Samsung Galaxy A13. So for this, you need a thin pry tool. I don't know if you'll be able to do it with a, what do you call? I don't know if you'll be able to get, get away with using a um, plastic pry tool, but you can give it a shot. Uh, for me, I was trying and it was really difficult. Anyways, so here's the part that we got. Okay, it came with some tools. I'm probably not going to use any of those, but uh, here's the part it came with. Okay, so I'm going to dump this out and it just looks like this. There's a button on it. You got the fingerprint part and then you got the little thing that pushes down on to click into place. Okay, so to do this, we're going to need a sim eject tool. Um, so let me grab one. You can use a thin little needle or just some regular sim eject tool. Okay, so I'm going to get a sim. Let me see, I got a bunch of tools in my pocket here. Let's grab this. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and first pop out the SIM card. Uh, SIM card, SD card, whatever you have in there. So push that tool into the little hole there. You can see, then the tray pops up. All right, so then we'll just pull this out. All right, comes out like that. Okay, so the reason I pulled that out first is, well, because you do have to remove it to get this out, but also because this has a little flex to it. I don't know if you can see that. So I can flex this down and that gives me an easier point of entry. So I can actually get my fingernail in here, but uh, that's gonna be really tough because this plastic that's wrapped around is very tight. So we're gonna have to use something thin. I'm using this thin, super thin metal uh, spatula. You want something that's flexible. Okay, you can see how flexible this is. Don't use like a razor blade. Those aren't flexible. It's gonna just snap off and it might shoot some shard of metal into your eyes. So you wanna be very careful with that, okay? Make sure you're using something very flexible. Um, you can find like little metal spatulas or something like that. Okay, again, make sure it's something that's designed to be flexible, made of like stainless steel. All right, so we're gonna get in there. You can see we can get in that edge. I know it's hard to see because it's black and the background's kind of white, so it's making the brightness weird. But anyways, you get in there, then you work your way down sideways. You can see how it's forming that gap. And you wanna be careful just going barely around here, okay? And you can see now this whole edge is kind of popped up. All right. <clears throat> The hardest part is getting the edges out. So these corners tend to be very difficult to pop out. Once you get to like a corner, um, you're gonna have a tough time. So we're gonna have to go over here and then try and get in the other corner. So get as close here to pop it up and then try and go here. And you can see actually it came out relatively easily. Um, I did pop this open one time before, so that might be why. But anyways, we're gonna continue going and try and get to that edge. You can see it's kind of not really going all the way. I'm gonna now go over to here, right? The one thing with this is we can't even turn off the phone because the power button, let me see if there's another way I can power off the phone. Can I do settings? Uh, yeah, there's no, there's no other way I can turn off the phone here, at least not that I know of. So we're just gonna continue working on it and trying to pop it open and then we'll worry about turning it off after. Okay, so we got over here. You can see it's kind of popping open. We're gonna have to try and get into here. And again, you do need somewhat of a very thin tool because it's very hard to get around these corners. So as you can see, even after we got it slightly in, it's very difficult. So it pops the tool out and then we have to kind of work our way and try and get it back in. Okay, I'm gonna kind of tilt it this way to get it wedged under and then try and pop it up again and there we go. Okay, so that's going. Now we're gonna continue working our way down the outer edge, okay? You wanna be careful with the power buttons and the volume buttons here. You don't wanna damage those trying to pry this up. Okay, so work our way up. You can see I can use my fingernail some, somewhat, okay? And then we're gonna continue going up. Same thing to the edge. Again, we gotta lay it flat so that it can get under there. And then once you lay it flat, get that wedged in and then pry it up slightly. All right, that side's being tough, so let's go ahead and go to this side. Oh, man. Yeah, this thing is difficult to pop open. Okay, so we go to there. All right, work our way over to the edge, and then same thing, and there we go. Okay. All right, and then we'll work our way to this edge, and same thing, try and pop it up. But yeah, these edges tend to be very difficult to get up. Get in the edge there. Tilt it down so it can get underneath. Oh, that's not working too well. Okay. I think we 
Almost got it. Come on, pop this corner. This one corner's the last piece. All right, I think since we got most of it, that corner, hopefully we can just pop it out. Let's see. So we got all this. You can see. All right, and then now, okay, now we can tilt this. So here you go. You want to be careful, obviously, because you have, oh, what is this? Maybe there was some adhesive or gunk in there before. I don't know. But whatever that is, that white stuff is coming out. Let's peel it all out. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> the power button's broken here. So we have to get this piece out. Okay. So you can actually let it flop over. You can see the actual volume buttons are part of the, on the other side. So yeah, again, hopefully you didn't damage it trying to pry it up. We got this. Let's see if we can pull this metal piece out. I think I have to pull the, okay, we can. So that metal piece, we can actually pull out. And we're not taking the whole thing apart. We're just trying to repair the power button. So here you can see the little connector under there. It came off, okay. And then this metal piece is gonna have to go back on top to clip it back down. So since we're just replacing and repairing the power button, I'm not gonna be taking everything else out. Okay, so here you go. Then it looks like there's this metal piece here we need to slide. Uh, let's see if we can slide it up. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get in there. Hmm. It might help to use like a small, thin, flathead screwdriver. So let me see if I can somehow show this clearer. All right, you see this piece? We're gonna basically try and get this to slide up and out. Okay, so I'm gonna try from this edge here and pull that up. You can see it popped up slightly. Same thing over here. Take note of which side is up and down. You can see the two little groove thingies here so you don't flip it upside down. And there we go. So now we got this metal piece out. Okay. And oh, comes out really easily. So there we go. There's the button. Now we just got to get the replacement and hopefully, hopefully that's what's wrong with it and not something else. Okay. So what we got to do, we got to take note. So the button faces inwards, obviously and then this piece goes towards the side. So make sure you don't flip it upside down and put it this way. You have to make sure it goes this way where this is going down and towards the back of this piece. All right, so we'll line this up. Get that slotted into place. Okay. Sorry, I'm going out of view. It's hard to, let me zoom out a little bit here. Zoom out more. Okay. Um, do I have to fold it first to make it easier? Maybe it will make it easier. Okay. I'm going to fold it a little first. You see, actually, there's a little white line there. So we're going to fold it on that white line. Don't crease it too hard. Just fold it so it stays like about 90 degrees. And then we're going to line this up and get that into place if we can. All right. So there we go. You can see if you hold it, then it lines up and sticks out there like the old one. And then we got to get this guy back in. So basically slot this back into there. And then we'll just, after that's slotted in, we're going to get this wedge down and slot that. Okay. And now we have this back wedged in. Okay. So make sure push this all down into place. And make sure everything is good. Okay. I don't... Hmm. I'm trying to push this and it's not clicking. So maybe I have something not lined up right. Are there other pieces here? Let me pull this back out. I think. Let's see. Is this not pushing in? Something's weird. Like this is having a tough time like pushing in and out. So this thing's getting jammed in there. Let's see if I try the old one again. The old one you can still click it, but it didn't um it didn't do anything. So see if you get if I put this one in there, the thing just falls out. If I put this one in there, come on, line up. It's not lining up right. Okay, maybe I jammed it too hard. Okay, so maybe now it's okay. 
Okay, let's go ahead and try and get this thing back in. Okay. Which that in there. Okay. The button's moving itself, making it a little bit tricky. So make sure it's all lined up. It keeps wanting to move. I think that's the hardest part is making sure this thing stays lined up because if this thing isn't lined up then when you go to um, push the button it's like not in properly so I don't know what you're able to see hopefully you're able to see everything okay and then let's go ahead and wedge that back down oops sorry stay in your spot yeah it's not staying in the right spot you see it like tilted over and then now it's weird this isn't as easy as I thought it would be come on it seems very simple buttons there is it shaped different or something or am I doing something wrong This is this is not as easy as I thought it would be. Okay. Get that back in. Kinda looks right, but not not quite. The bottom is not lining up right of this button. That's so weird. What is happening here? It's not lining up quite right, and that's causing issues. Let me see, if I get the old one back in, it sits perfectly in that slot. Like, it's sitting perfectly in there. So when I get this piece back in, oh. Oh no, it also wiggled. Uh, this is gonna be a pain. Trying to line this thing up. Okay. See, so this one it's working now. Okay, but the other one, let me see, can I do that? It's not wanting to stay in place correctly. I think it's a little different, or maybe it's just the way the wires folded right now makes it easier. I don't know. Okay. Try and get this guy back in. It's interesting. This metal bracket says A12 on it, but this is what, A13? Okay, see, this isn't lined up right, so I have to find a way to fix that. It's like sinking down. Oh no. Hmm. This is not working too well. See, it wants to like sink down. It's not going in straight. not going to go in right I don't know how are we gonna do this I mean if you have a part that fits well then you won't have this issue right <laughs> I'm having this issue because it's not sitting properly so maybe this one's slightly defective I don't know I guess if you're having the same issue with yours then yours might also be defective so keep that in mind Wow, 
Well, let's install it and then just see if the button works. So I'm gonna get this back in. Okay. It works when I push here. That means that's lined up, but this is definitely not. Well, let's plug this in and then see what we got. Okay, so we're gonna line this up. And then we're gonna have to plug this guy in. Alright, so let's test it, see if we can even push the button. You can see the screen's off right now. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. The screen's off and it's still not working. Let me see if plugging in a charge port works, because he said when the screen goes off he has to plug in the charger. Nothing. Oh, 82%. Okay, it's showing that and it unlocks itself. But, so even the replacement button, nothing works. So something on his phone itself is broken. It's not the power button itself. Let's see if cleaning this will do anything because this doesn't seem like the button itself is fixing the issue. And if that's the case, then there's no point doing this. Okay, so push the power button back in, flip it back over. You can see that's on, I'm gonna push the button. Nothing, holding the button. Also nothing. So that means doing that was pointless. The power button is not the issue. Either that or something else um, or the, the thing in here also got damaged. So replacing the power button didn't work. We're gonna pop this thing back out. If you somehow broke your power button, you can try this. Maybe it will work for you, but it didn't work for this one. So sadly, yeah, that's not gonna work. I guess I'll recommend the customer um, have like a little portable USB power pack and that will at least let him turn it on whenever he needs to. But uh, in terms of replacing the button, it looks like sadly that didn't solve the issue. So let's go ahead and push this back into place. It's possible this connector here on the board itself is broken, but I can't fix that. So. that back on and then we'll get this guy back into place this thing just goes back on top and clicks back down all right so that's pretty much it sadly replacing the power button didn't work didn't solve the issue so we're just going to go ahead and put this thing back together okay so yeah let's just click this all back in okay just line everything back up and click it all back Okay, and then we'll obviously get this back in. Line everything up, push it back in. See, the power buttons, I mean the volume buttons still work. This does nothing. All right, well, I guess sad news. It didn't solve the issue, and yeah, that was just a waste of time, but maybe it will help somebody else that actually damaged their power button. Hopefully it helped. Thanks for watching. And if it did, like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. Um, if you can't help out that way, um, you can watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Let's drop this by.